Alright. Once again, I want to give all praises to Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. To build on us unto the elders and apostles of Great Millstone that surely do well, do rule well. And salutation to you, brothers, all that spend this word in truth and in sincerity. This is Martin Ayah from the Young. You know that camp quest. Come to do a short little video here. Do you know what is the what is the love of God? I'm gonna start off with this first precept. First John chapter five is the first one, I'll start off one. It says who should believe it that your house shy is the anointed, is born of your house. And everyone that loveth him that begat, loveth him also, that is begotten of him. So everyone that loveth, Yahweh love it, Yahweh shy. Verse 2 it says, by this we know that we love, that we love the children of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. When we love, when we love Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai and keep his commandments, for this is the love of Yahweh that we keep his commandments and that his commandments are not grievous. Yeah, so this, this is the true love of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. This is when we know we love Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Then we go in in these so-called born againers. What do you um come up when we when we are we doing the works and they talking about and we are um, preaching and they hearing these talking about the nigger woman and and, and, and niggers and the so-called white man over here them they always coming up with this loving God thing. But this this year is 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 is, is, what, is what is the love of God. By, by keeping the by keeping the most high's commandments, this is the love of God, and that we ain't keeping it unwillingly, we ain't keeping it, and it and it grieves us. Keeping it willfully with our with our with our pure hearts, in in, in in sincerity. So this is the true love of God. This is when we could say when we keep when we um, when we love the most high. You can't be eating pork and say love the most high. It's a liar. You can't be celebrating Christmas, Easter, Mother's Day, Father's Day. You know? And saying you love you can't be worshipping Jesus and saying you love the most high. You can't be worshipping Allah and saying you love the most high. You can't be born out to idols and saying you love the most high. You can't be adult and saying you love the most high. You can't be envious towards your neighbor or your brother and say you love the most high. Because that is not keeping the most high commandments. The most high commandments. The love of God is keeping the most high commandments. But say it right here. This is this just proves that the that the um the so-called bonaganas do not know the Bible. Say it right here in First John chapter five, verse three. It says, "For this is the love of your heart that we keep His commandments, and His commandments are not grievous." That is the love of that is the love of that is the love of the Most High. Let me just quick we say, yeah, so, Deuteronomy chapter six, verse four. So that four it says, "Here, O Israel, your power, our power." It's one, it's one Lord. And thou shalt love Yahweh thy power with all thy heart and with all thy soul and with all thy might. And these words which I command thee this day shall be in thine heart. Which words which command us that day was the commandments. And thou shalt teach them diligently unto thy children and, and shall talk of them when thou sittest in thine house and when thou walkest by the way and when thou liest down and when thou risest up so we always have to be focusing on, on on keeping the commandments not that it 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 it, it um it will save us we can't we can't please the most life and deceive us but that it will prove our faith true keeping keeping the most size word we can't just we can't just be um, breaking the laws and say we have feet and we have feet and we have feet. No, you have to keep the most high, the most high good. You can't be eating pork and saying you have feet. You can't be having 
come e c'è un altro dolce, anzi ne ha fit c'è un altro next piece of paper di Johnny, mi chapter 30 verse, verse 14 Psalm 14 But the word is very nigh unto thee in thy mouth and in thine heart and in thine heart and in thine heart that thou mayest do them. And we have the word right here in the scriptures. Which is very nigh unto us. But verse 15 it says, See, I have set before thee this day life. I have set before thee this day life and good and death and evil. In that I command thee this day to love Yahweh thy Paul, to walk in his ways, and to keep, keep his commandments, and his statutes, and his judgments, that thou mayest live, and multiply. And Yahweh thy Paul shall bless thee in the land where thou goest to possess, to the laws, and the statutes, and the commandments, and the judgments that the Most High is for us to live, that is life. That's why how shall I say I am the way? Let me get that quick. It says, Yahweh shall I say it unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto me, unto the Father, but by me. Because Yahweh Shai didn't abolish the laws, he didn't destroy the laws. I say I came, I came not to destroy the Lord, not the prophet, but to fulfill all that was written about him. So he say, I am the way, the truth, and the life. By following his, by following his ways, you will keep the commandments because he was keeping the commandments and you will have faith in him. By living a life that you shall live. By being holy as the Father which is in heaven is holy. You can't be holy and celebrating Christmas and celebrating Mother's Day. That's just not possible. That is disobedience. Get a scripture quick. Ephesians. Ephesians 5. Verse. Verse 5. It says, For this you know that no homonger, no clean person, no covetous man who is an idolater had any inheritance in the kingdom of Mashiach and of Yahweh, Bashem Yahushai, of Yahweh. Let no man deceive you with vain words, for because of these things cometh the wrath of Yahweh, Bashem Yahushai, upon the children of disobedience. So if the laws was done away with, why the most high would have bring his wrath upon the children of disobedience? It says, be, be not ye therefore partakers with them. For ye would sometimes, for ye were sometimes darkness, but now ye are light in the Lord. Walk as children of light. For the spirit, for the fruit of the spirit is in all goodness and righteousness and truth. So you have, you have to keep the, the most high laws, statutes, and commandments and judgments. That is the way to life and have faith in your house, that is that that is the love of God. We'll bring this last precept here. Romans chapter 13 verse 9. It says for this thou shalt not and notice this is in the, in the new command is is in the New Testament. It says, "For this thou shalt not commit adultery, thou shalt not kill, thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not be a false witness, thou shalt not covet." And if and if there be any other commandments, it is briefly comprehended in this sin. In this sin, thou shalt. Love thy neighbor as thyself. So you had to love the most as yourself. And you had to love no you had to love the, the you had to love your neighbor as yourself. And you had to love the how bashem or shy. To all thine heart and all thy soul. To all thy mind. Alright? 
Mais il faut, il faut à close, hein, évidemment. On laisse là sur le Luc, chapter 10, on s'arrête à 45. It says, And behold, a certain lawyer stood up and tempted him, saying, Master, what shall I do to inherit eternal life? And he noticed he didn't say, Master, what shall I do to inherit death? He said, eternal life. He said unto him, What is written in the law? How readest thou? And he answered, and he answered and said, Thou shalt love thy the Lord thy power with all thy heart and with all thy soul and with all thy strength and with all thy mind and thy neighbor as thyself. And he said unto him, Thou hast answered right, this do and thou shalt live. This do and thou shalt have eternal life. Love the most high, our Basham, our Shai, with all thy soul, and with all thy strength, and with all thy mind, and with all thy heart, and thy neighbor as thyself. Let me go back to that last, that last piece up here. Romans 13, verse 9. For this thou shalt not commit adultery, thou shalt not steal. Thou shalt not kill, thou shalt not be a false witness, thou shalt not covet, covet, and if there be any other commandment, it is briefly comprehended in this saying, namely, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. Verse 10, love wicked no ill to his neighbor, therefore love is the fulfilling of the, of the law. So all these commandments would the most like of us was to love him with all our might and, and, and strength and heart and mind, and to love our neighbors as ourselves. As I, give, as I tell you, do not commit adultery, do not come, cover thy neighbors. Do not, do not, do not kill. Do not Ooh, steal Larry. from thy neighbor. Ooh, Larry. Ooh, Larry. So with that, I hope this video is, video is edifying for the Akem or, or, or throughout the four corners of the earth. One of all praises once again to your Hauba Hashem, your Shai, the Bala Lazar, to the elders of persons of greatness. I'm not sure they do very well. And salutation and peace order to you, Bridget. And I came that spelling this within Chukta Nintin Sirti. And this is my matinara from Trinidad Campus. And I want to say Shalawam.